back to another video. In this one, we're going to talk about the iPhone 11 Pro and its video recording capabilities. And if this is the first time checking out this channel, we have a ton of other filmmaking videos that you can check out, watch, and learn from. So hit the subscribe button and check out some of those other videos. So is it worth updating from the iPhone X? Does it replace the DSLR? How good is the wide lens? Is it usable at night? How good overall is the video quality? I'll try to answer all of these questions as well as show you some real world footage from the iPhone 11 Pro, so let's get started. First off, I noticed the battery life is much better with this phone compared to the iPhone XS. Apple apparently improved the battery life of the 11 Pro by getting rid of the 3D touch to make room for a larger battery. I found the extra battery life to be very convenient just for everyday use of the phone, but also as a creator constantly recording. Beyond that, I'd say the biggest change though, and what got my attention, was the built-in wide angle lens. It is much wider than the standard lens and opens up a lot more potential for getting more creative. I did notice right away though that the video quality isn't as good when using the wide lens. In low light situations, you're gonna see a lot of video noise. While the regular lens holds up pretty well, the wide lens falls a bit short. Check out this footage, look at the darker spots from this clip I filmed indoors. It looks pretty bad in those areas, but I do need to remind myself that this is a smartphone and overall it's pretty incredible what it can do right out of the box. In bright situations, the wide lens is great though. If there's ever a situation where I don't have my main camera with me, for example, it's amazing to be able to choose between different lenses on the iPhone and be able to capture such a wide shot. In these comparison shots between the regular and wide lens, you can see just how much wider the wide lens is, and as mentioned, it holds up pretty well in brighter scenarios. If you care about getting the most out of your phone, make sure you're using the Filmic Pro app to record, because it will capture at a much higher bitrate, which means a higher quality video. That being said, right out of the built-in photo and video app, the video quality is still pretty good, and especially with the regular lens. I wouldn't suggest using it as your main camera. If you can justify spending the money on a better setup, definitely do that, but as a backup camera, it will get surprisingly good footage right straight out of the camera. But again, use the Filmic Pro app if you want some better footage. Keep in mind, you're not gonna get that soft, out-of-focus background like cinema cameras or full-frame cameras can get, or what the phone can artificially do in photo mode, but that's just how it is when using a tiny sensor. I'd say it's not much of an upgrade from the iPhone XS if that's what you own. It basically is the exact same phone with a few changes like slightly better video quality, a wide lens, and better battery life. So if you're using the iPhone XS, it's probably best to just wait for the next release or get a wide attachment lens for it like the Moment smartphone wide lens. Overall, I'm really impressed with this iPhone, although I should be because it is a pricey phone. But for how many things it can do and how often people use their phone, it works out to be one of the best purchases you can make. Is this phone going to change the game for me? Probably not, it's just a tool that makes my life easier and ultimately, it's the creative decisions that make the story good in a video. People will forgive the video quality if the story is good, but if the story isn't good, it won't matter how high the production value is. Story is the king. And on a side note, I'm not a photographer, but I did notice that the images you can take with this phone are just so good. They look so good right out of the phone. All right, that's it for this video. If you want to help our content get ranked higher within the YouTube algorithm so we keep creating more content like this, just comment down below, like the video, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified when we upload. And I'll leave you with some footage of Ali talking about gloves. When you wear gloves, eventually you have to take them off. Where do you put them? In your pockets? What if you have lens caps and phones and wallets in your pockets? Then where do you put your gloves? On the snow, and then you forget them, and then you're missing gloves, so I just don't bring gloves. It's just less hassle in my life if I don't bring gloves. Also, when I don't bring gloves, Will goes, you didn't bring gloves, it's winter, you're gonna freeze, and then he films everything anyway. So it works out, kind of. It is really cold. I never wear gloves, even in the winter, because I don't like to be constrained.